Hey guys, thank you for joining me again. Today's topic is 14 most common muscle building mistakes to avoid. So which are the most common mistakes people do in the gym? I did it, you did it, and I'm sure you know at least one person who did quite a few of those. Let's check it out. All right, number one is too much cardio. Now, what does it mean too much cardio? Doesn't it benefit you the more the run, the better in shape? Well, it depends. When you do too much cardio, I was one of them. I did two hours on the bike every day reading a book. And I also did at least an hour and a half of weightlifting. And guess what happened? I didn't get super lean. I stayed around like 12, 13, 14% and I could not get down to a single digit number. Why? Because it was too much, okay? When you do too much cardio, too much training, the body creates cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And once cortisol gets activated, it slows down, if not even, sometimes even blocks the entire process. So be smart about it. You know, start slow and work yourself up. But generally speaking, 20 to 30 minutes, four times a week on a healthy diet is plenty to get ripped. Okay, number two, uh, straining and overtraining. Now overtraining, you don't want to train too much, okay? Especially when you're natural. If you're natural, you got to be smart about it. You know, you got to listen to your body. Uh, you have to have a good strategy in how to train. Uh, have a plan, you know, switch up your training and don't train every single day and don't max out every single set and every single workout you know one week have have a workout where you uh, have at least uh, two three reps in the tank don't use them up and then the following week you know you go heavy like be smart about it don't train too much uh, number three not challenging yourself enough now you gotta like we just said you gotta train smart but you also don't want to train, you know, you have to train enough to stress your system and to build muscle. So that's important too. What that means is, you know, don't pick a, a, a weight where you feel like, oh, I do about, you know, 10 to 12 reps and then you stop at 12. You've got to pick a weight where you max out somewhere between 8 and 12. That's how it works, okay? I've seen a lot of people, they pick a weight and then they just stop between eight and 12 just because that's what they read in a book or online or what that's what the trainer told them. What, it, that, what that means is you gotta pick a weight where you max out somewhere in between the number. So if you feel like you can do another 10, then what's the point? So watch that one. Number four not getting enough sleep not getting enough sleep has major issues in many different ways when it comes to health but in uh, in this video we talk about you know trading mistakes and most people do not get enough sleep sleep is so important because when you sleep the body creates a uh, uh, hgh human growth hormone which makes you grow which you know makes you help build muscles and recover think about it a baby okay i mean they grow so fast you can watch them but guess what the reason why they sleep so much is because they grow when you sleep you know you can only grow when you sleep you're not growing when you walk around you're not growing lifting in the gym no that all happens at night when you sleep and then depending on how you train and nutrition the body would use uh all those macros, amino acids, to build and to recover. So sleep is important. Number five, don't rely on a scale. What, especially when it comes to losing weight, uh, I've seen it many times. Look in the mirror, measure your fat, but don't worry about the weight because when you train, especially when you weight lift, you gain muscle and at the same time you burn fat so you burn fat and you gain muscle so that weight will not change a lot maybe like five pounds on and off 
but when you look in the mirror, your body has transformed. Well, that's because the body is using the fat as fuel, burns it to build muscle. And muscles are heavier than fat, so don't get discouraged if the scale doesn't change a lot. Pay attention and look in the mirror. All right, next one is not using the mind-muscle connection. Like Arnold always said, you know, connect with the muscle. You know, visualize it, see the muscle growing. Uh, I had that with, you know, quite a few clients over the years, uh, uh, especially, you know, if you see it with, in beginners, when they work, work out, you know, you can see like muscles like dropping and, you know, everything is like those weird jerking movements. That's because they're not connecting with the muscle. They probably think what they're going to eat tonight at dinner when they go on a date or something. Oh, well, I don't know what, but you know, but the minute they start concentrating, they see the muscle moving and contracting, and you control the eccentric and the concentric movement, that's when the muscle, that's what it means, connect with, you know, with the mind. Don't just do some funny shit, okay? All right, next one is number seven, not taking the time to rest and to recover. Again, it, it, it goes very close with you know getting not getting enough sleep rest and recover when you work out in between sets you need to rest you need a uh, you know a little recovery time especially when you do a, a, a heavy set you know when you do a heavy set and you do like a max out somewhere between four or five reps and you don't take a break you know you're not going to perform in the next set so 30, to 30 seconds to one minute, depending on the training method, you know, is required to really you know, rest in between sets. If you see like uh, power lifters, I mean, they lift like you know, one max repetition of like 500 pounds, you know, one deadlift, and then they sit for five minutes you know, because it's, 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 such in, it, it's such intense that the body does not recover within a minute. You know, they have to sit there for like five minutes to be able to another repetition like that um, so depending on your training you know make sure that you have enough rest in between sets uh, and also you know don't train every day especially when you're natural okay if you're a natty you cannot train every day you will turn over training or overreaching and that's the last thing you want okay uh, yeah keep that in mind uh, next one is uh, skipping warm-up Never skip a warm up. I was one of those guys. I used to skip warm ups because I was lazy. And guess what? I tore my Achilles. And after that, man, I'm a warm up specialist now. I can tell you that. <laughs> I warm up, I stretch, and everything. Get the blood flow going. You know, go in the bike or on the stairs for like 10 minutes. Get your nervous system ready for heavy lifting. You know, uh, it, it is important. And trust me, I know. If you're watching this right now and you're young, you're a teenager, uh, and trust me, I was the same, you know, oh, I don't need to warm up, you know, and yeah. But when you get older, it will catch up with you. And you know, all that happens uh, after 35, then boom, 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 all the things are gonna come out and you will regret it. So start early, prevent and be healthy. <laughs> okay, the next one is um, not having a game plan. What does that mean? Well, again, don't go in the gym without a game plan. Don't go in the gym without a goal because you will get to the point where you ask yourself, what am I doing here? I don't even know what to do. It's almost like uh, having a, a passenger plane take off without a navigation, without a destination. That plane is just like flying around, you know, not knowing where to go. And that's exactly how people are when they're in the gym. You know, some people don't even know which machine to use. So having a game plan, writing it down makes a big difference. So if you have a trainer, you know, talk to your trainer. Uh, if not, uh, hit me up. I can, I, can, I can do a training plan for you if you need some help. All right, uh, next one is uh, static stretching before workout. The last thing you want to do is static stretching before workout. What is static stretching? Well, static stretching is like stretch and hold it for like 20 to 30 seconds. That's static stretching. What's happening to the muscle fibers right now when I stretch it? Imagine you have a rubber band and I stretch the rubber band 
Now that rubber band where it's stretched, in that area it's weak and it's more prone for injuries. And imagine then with that stretched uh, rubber band, you're going to start lifting weight. Not only are you more prone for injuries, um, but the muscle also weakens. Okay, And that's the last thing I want. You do the static stretching after you finish your workout. That's what's perfect. Before workout, you do more like uh, dynamic stretching, ballistic stretching, stuff like that, which is like a stretch within a movement. It's kind of like a warm up. That's the way to go. Then also in proper form, very important. You know, you don't want to waste your time having the, the, the wrong form. Why? Because you lose about 30% of each workout if you don't train that muscle you're supposed to train, you know. If you have an improper form, as, a, as an example, as the bicep curl, and it's too heavy, and you go like this, you're using your hips and your shoulders to lift up the weight, well, you're taking away 30, 40% of your biceps. So then, what's the point? You know, you wanna isolate and train the biceps. So not having the right form with any kind of exercise will slow you down. Next is doing the same activity, doing the same thing over and over. Not only it's boring, but the muscle is like, uh, I have another fun analogy. Imagine I'm around the corner, okay? And you walk by and I go boom, and you're like, Ugh! what just happened? Your body had no choice. It had to react to this. Why? Because the body or you, you are not expecting that. Now, if you can train in, in a state like that where you shock your system and train right, the body has no choice than responding and growing. And once you get to a point where I'm already know that I'm around the corner, well, guess what? You're gonna be like, what? I already know you're there. And your muscle is reacting the same way. Doing the same thing over and over, your muscle is like, what? I don't even have to use any muscle fibers to lift, to lift this weight no more because I've been doing it for the last two years. So switching up your training, having a proper form will get you to the next level. And next is not eating right, not eating right, not eating enough. It's a major problem when it comes to training. There's so many people that train good and they train hard, but it's just slowing them down because they don't feed the body, you know? You need to fuel the body with the proper nutrition. You know, it depends, you know, if you're on a keto diet, you know, have enough fat. If you're on a regular diet, you know, have a healthy carbs. It is very, very important to fuel the body. You need the protein, you need the amino acids, the body needs to repair. When you go in the gym, you're breaking down muscle tissue and then you eat and eat and eat and then you go to sleep and then the body re repairs and grows. That's when it's all happening. So not eating right or enough Will, n will not get you anywhere. And I, I know what you might think, you know, it's like, oh, I'm taking you know, this, I'm taking SARMs, I'm taking some steroids, you know. It doesn't matter, you can take whatever you want to. If you don't eat right, nothing is gonna happen. Trust me on that. Uh, next one is not using supplements. Now, I should be the last person who would say that because I'm owning a supplement company, Biocorp USA, but Using supplements is not a must, it's not, but it certainly will speed up the process for sure. If you take the right supplements, it will uh, increase your performance and, and you know, speed up the process by at least 30, 35%, easy, you know? So I just share what I take. I take a pre-workout, uh, I'm obviously I'm taking you know my own supplements from my own company because I know what's in there so I know it's they're not fake so I'm taking the Pulse Plus from Biocorp which is a pre-workout I'm taking the Muscle Building Pro which is a, a blend of essential and non-essential amino acids I'm taking vitamin D3, uh, B complex, uh, magnesium, potassium, uh, what else and uh, oh, uh, uh, a green like a 
green juice, you know, which has all the vitamins and everything in there. Vitamin C, of course, organic vitamin C. And, uh, and the list goes on and on. So I'm taking all that stuff and you know, and, and, and for sure, the body, you know, repairs itself quicker. You know, again, it comes back to not eating right. You train hard, you need more ingredients, you need more food, you need more vitamins to, to repair and to have more energy. Or do you think a professional athlete is not taking a supplement in addition? Of course they do. You know, they want to, they don't have no time to wait forever to recover. They want to get things done, you know, especially when you're a football player. Do you think they don't have to take in amino acids and creatine on top of that? Of course they do, because it just speeds up, you know, the healing process and the recovery time and 50% less. So just to give you some examples, uh, supplements, again, it's not a must, but for sure it will speed up your process. And yeah, that was it. So those are my suggestions. You know, if you want to avoid uh, mistakes in the gym, especially when it comes to building muscle, losing weight. It doesn't matter. You can apply this to anything. It is important to follow all these steps and there's even more, you know, to do it the proper way. And trust me, you can take the training to an entire whole level. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like or a comment. If you need some help with a nutrition plan or training plan, uh, leave me a comment, you know, or go to my Instagram, which is DaveRE77. And uh, yeah, you can uh, direct message me there and, um, you know, and I'll help you to get you to the next level if you need some help. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.